Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial, we will learn about the model. So these are the points of the video. So what is the model? How we can use it, etc. So now the first question is that what is the model? So basically, model means where your business logic is handled. All right. So in the Laravel, we will define our table structure in the model. Let's say. uh you would have a table name and you just want to uh, modify some property of it you just want to send some default data in it and you just want to save some data and all all right we will see everything is step by step in this video we will just learn that how we can fetch the data with the help of a uh, model how we can just uh, manually define the table name and all all right so after this video i am just going to make one more video so that you can just find all the properties of the model also so stay tuned with us so first rule of the model in the laravel is that if your table name is plural then your model name should be singular in this structure if your model name is user then your table name should be users all right the another example if your model name is product then your table name should be products so now maybe you have a question now that if we have the another table name then uh, is it uh, there that we cannot fetch the data no we still can fetch the data but in that case we must have to define the manual table name in the model and in the same example we will see that how we can put the manual name also with the table so for now let's see that how we can make a model so for the model we need uh, just run a command the name will php artisan make model and model name so let's say my model name is product why my middle uh, model name is product because my table name is products all right so just hit the enter now you can see that model is successfully created by default model will be created inside your app folder all right so when just install the laravel you will find the user dot php this is the default model which is provided by the laravel so now let's see that the model is created here but now how we can use it to use it we need at least a controller so that i am just going to make a controller here so let's make a controller and controller name can be like a profile or anything that you just want and just hit the enter now you can see that we have a model also it and you can find it inside the uh, controller folder here so let's make a function here and function name can be anything in my case i'm choosing the name index so let's say hello from uh, laravel for a now right and now let's define for a path or route so that we can just use this model for that just use the route with the get method and as you know here is the two parameter one for the route and another for the controller name so just write here profile at the rate index this is my function name inside controller perfect so now let's see is it accessible or not so just write here profile you can see that we are, we can access it now let's you import the your model inside your controller so just use app because it's present inside the app and the name product right and now just use this product as in return with the double colon or scope resolution method all like this now you will see that all the data from find uh, fast from the product table table here you can see that all right so this is the basic thing for now let's take example that your uh, plural and singular cases are not going to match as i told you for that what actually you can do for a moment let's change the table name from php myadmin and put the product products one for a moment all right now if you are just trying to fetch it you can not able to fetch all right for that you have to define it manually how you can define it manually let's open your model and just simply write here dollar table and your table name let's say products 
and after that you must have to define this property type so I'm just going to define a protected like this now if you are just going to trying to fetch now you are still able to fetch so this is the way that how you can use the manual model name if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel I have lots of video of Laravel you can just fetch fetch them from the uh, description box so bye bye take care